But we begin this evening with the race for Amazon. The online shipping giant announced the 20 finalists for their second headquarters, and Atlanta is on that list. Take a look at this map. The other 19 locations include New York City, Boston, Dallas, Los Angeles, and Toronto. For the metro area selected, here is what is at stake. Amazon will invest at least $5 billion. Wow. The campus will be equal to their original headquarters, that is in Seattle. And HQ2, as they call it, will bring 50,000 high-paying jobs to metro Atlanta. Tonight we have team coverage beginning with how Atlanta measures up to the other 19 metro areas. And here to begin our coverage is 11 Alive's Joe Hankey. Only one city will become the home of Amazon's next headquarters, so we wanted to narrow down the list and held up each city against three of Amazon's top requirements. First, we checked each applicant's population. Amazon wants its next headquarters in a metro area with a million plus people. We also talked with Burt Sperling, founder of Sperling's Best Places. Last year, he ranked the 238 applicants, said Atlanta would be Amazon's new home, and it turns out he guessed 15 of the top 20 finalists correctly. Sperling says based off of Amazon's shortlist, metro population could play a key role. They might be looking at larger metro areas like the New York area and the Newark area. And while everyone makes the million plus cut for the sake of this unscientific study, we're going to go ahead and throw out the two smallest in the competition, Montgomery County, Maryland, and also Raleigh, North Carolina. Up next is tech talent. People will want to come to Amazon. They're going to um, draw a lot of people and also grow the region. Amazon's focus is attracting and keeping strong tech talent. A Forbes magazine list looked at U.S. and Canadian cities, and they presented the top 20 places for tech talent. Three of Amazon's top 20 cities didn't even make Forbes' top tech list. So Miami, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh, sorry, but you all bite the dust. Up next is transportation. International airport to public transportation and a solid interstate and highway system. Amazon wants it all, but don't assume they will set up shop in the heart of a metro city. If they're smart, they're going to locate outside and not put as much stress on the mass transit and the commuting as um, some people are thinking. Now, no one can match the world's busiest airport. Only Atlanta has that. But when it comes to those airports, you reach in this box and Columbus and Nashville, they don't exactly fit the bill. So we're tossing them out as well. Now, the remaining cities, here's some of the cities that rise to the top. We have Boston, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and of course, Atlanta. Now, we do have one more expert. Hey, Alexa, do you like Atlanta for HQ2? I don't have an opinion on that. Well, there's her response. Coming up at 6, we're looking at the good and the bad of Amazon in your city.